Well, a lot of the world's past conflicts have inspired protest songs to reflect the spirit of resistance, if you like. Egypt has got its own now. Inspired by the resilience of the demonstrators, several notable musicians from North America have teamed up to release a rap song, and this is it. I heard him say the revolution won't be televised Al Jazeera proved him wrong, Twitter has him paralyzed 80 million strong and ain't no longer gonna be terrorized Organized, mobilized, vocalized On the side of truth, the Madunya's living proof That it's a matter of time for the chickens home to roost Boo, I did he lit the hoof And it slowly ignited And one of the artists is with me in the studio, Amar Afendam Nice to have you with us, how are you? Thank you for having me uh, You know, you got me with the first line or the second line when you said uh, what was it? Al Jazeera proved them wrong. Twitter has the... Yeah, yeah. I've, they say the revolution won't be televised. Al Jazeera proved them wrong. Twitter has them paralyzed. And um, it's basically just a play on a, a famous song that came out you know, in the 70s about the revolution not being televised uh, mm. by Gil Scott Heron. And us uh, being glued to our, our televisions and to the internet watching uh, the, the events on Al Jazeera and on Twitter. You know, uh, when you, kind of when you say that. us, who's us? Us who are... You know, not in the region who don't have the good fortune of watching it on, on, on cable TV or on mm. our televisions, you know, in the United States, essentially, uh, in North America. So uh, we've had to be online and watch it and, and get our, the amazing coverage that Al Jazeera has been doing of the events, um, you know, are all we really have to get the, the real essence of the story. Who's this aimed at? This is aimed, first and foremost, uh, as a song of solidarity with the Egyptian people mm. uh, who've inspired us, you know, with their, with their incredible, incredible resolve uh, these past few weeks. And of course, um, to open it up to an audience in the United States who perhaps doesn't think they have anything to do with the events in Egypt, mm. um, by getting notable rappers from the U.S. to speak on this issue, mm. hopefully will make them realize that, that it does affect them. And know? what was it? How, and how did you go about getting those notable names? Because, let's face it, Egypt is very far removed from the United States. Are these people of Egyptian descent, of, of, of Arab descent, or um, well? A mix of both, you know, there are African Americans on the song, there are mm. uh, Arab Americans and Canadians on the song, mm. um, but honestly it's just about the spirit of resistance and that's something that hip hop uh, as, as an art form and as a culture has always embodied mm. and so it's not so foreign to be able to do that in a hip hop song. Mm. The fact that you're here talking to me about it suggests this is getting big. Um, <laughs> you posted on YouTube, I guess, your Facebook, so, I yeah. mean, the social networking which you talk about mm -hmm. is probably going to play a huge role in making it a success of getting out to the people. Hopefully, and that's really the point of it. You know, we're not really doing this to get fame out of it. We're doing this because we want to show, once again, the solidarity with mm. the Egyptian people. You know, as best we can, you know, since we're not there on the ground in Egypt, this is the best we could do. You know? Go on, and I'm sure, I'm sure not, you... I have to say, it's not my favorite song of the revolution. Some of the songs coming out of Tahrir Square have been incredible. And yeah. they're really, really uh, the ones who inspire us. You mean like so, uh, more traditional style stuff that's coming more out of More traditional style stuff. You know, Egyptian, the Egyptian culture and Egyptian people have just an incredibly, you know, talented uh, way of expressing themselves mm. they always have and so that that is, is definitely something that's been happening in this revolution as well cool. you say you're not doing it for fame but there's a video obviously we're playing it now it'll be on YouTube are you getting good response to it I mean, uh, well the video that they're showing now actually is just one of my own videos but the the video for the song that we're talking about has um, as a mashup of footage from Al Jazeera so uh, yeah. yeah it's really uh, just about getting getting this idea out that that it's a universal struggle for human rights that we really want to just kind of align ourselves with and let the people of Egypt know that we're, you know, we're a part of. Mm. And I was going to say, why rap music? You're a rapper, that's why. But do you think <laughs> that rap music resonates with a younger... It's, it's a good way of getting a message out now today. Well, absolutely. I mean, rap is a very direct way of doing that. 60% um, of the population, if not more, in the Middle East is, you know, under 30. And rap is, you know, a youth culture that has, you know, made its way around the globe. And so it's very, very uh, powerful. And, um, you know, rap, like I said, is a very direct way of getting your point across. Mm. You know? And it's poetry at the end of the day, in my opinion. And that's something that uh, Arab culture can definitely uh, associate itself with. Mm. Good talking to him. I'm really interesting. And thank you for that, uh, for coming in. Thank you for having some me. Of music. And thank you to Al Jazeera for the amazing coverage once again, really. I will say thank you on behalf of the channel. Thank you.